Well, the thing is, you see, if you're a professional trader, you've got to do your utmost to buy on low depressed prices. And the best way to do that is to create bad news, put out rumours, do whatever you can, seize the opportunity of some serious news coming in, uh, and then the market's markdown hopefully shakes people out of that. There was one example that we used to get up to all sorts of so-called tricks. <coughs> I mean, we used to trade Teledyne. And Teledyne, the, uh, the actual company, used to have an general, annual general meeting in Beverly Hills. And we used to plant people in there, in the meeting. There'd be a, quite a large room with perhaps several hundred people in there. And all the directors would be sitting up on the stage, you know, behind the table looking out at you. But we'd have planted questions to rather encourage people either to buy or encourage people to sell. We'd be asking awkward questions, like we might stand up and say, is this correct? We've heard secretly that you've got a huge order from Saudi Arabia for your products. And of course, it was a complete fabrication. Then the directors would look at each other and sort of shrug their shoulders but the audience heard that, and they think, aye, aye, they've got something going on, they're keeping it secret. And that would definitely have a nice big surge of buying next day. If you were distributing, we'd say, sure, we'll let you have it all. Because we bought in the Lowe's, we're now encouraging people to come in and buy it off us. That goes on all the time, that type of thing. If the opportunity's there, a professional trader will take it.